Hello and thank you for joining me today. Today's lesson we're going to try and get you some Crusader Edition Morozov Heavy Armor. You're going to need a drop ship. You're going to need your FPS armor, preferably some heavy armor. Morozov is great, obviously, for this, or Defiance. You're going to need some uh, meds, so Hemazol and potentially a med gun. A tractor beam and grenades are helpful uh, as long as the server is working. I cannot stress enough how much ammunition you're going to need, so bring a ton of it. And now we're going to get over to Security Post Korea, which is located in orbit around Selin, around Crusader. Now, uh, one thing that I haven't shown you that I've done before this is to make sure that the comms array is down. The next thing that you need to do is go into your journal and check your contract manager under uh, mercenary and check that there's no active uh, retake career missions because that will indicate that there's somebody else there. If that's the case, it's probably not worth doing. Now, when you approach uh, Security Post Career, you want to come at it from underneath. So you're aiming for the large ring to be on top of the smaller ring. Um, and you want to come up underneath the, uh, from sort of the inferior pole and go underneath the largest pads either side. That protects you from the lasers. The missiles will only attack you once you're out of range for fear of doing damage to the security post itself. Um, as you can see here, when I come in, I've come in and I've oriented wrong and I thought I was going underneath and actually I was going uh, into the landing pad, which then obviously lit me up. But because you're in a drop ship, you've got, you're a bit tougher and it means that you can drop back underneath like I've just done and tuck yourself in underneath that landing pad. Um, use F4, pull your wings in if you've got that ability, go into like a VTOL mode um, and then that's that, you're, you're home and dry. Now, from here, we want to make sure that our ship is shut so we don't get any passengers. And then we want to make our way up into the rafters. Now, usually, I'd have a sniper rifle here. An LMG or an assault rifle will work uh, well as well. And what we're going to do now is look at each pad and we're going to pick off the two to three uh, NPCs that guard each one. Uh, there are roaming NPCs as well that will, will move between the pads um, and they can be tricky to find. So just take your time, um, work your way all the way around and then once you're sure that everyone is down, then you can start to think about moving inside. The reason I do it this way is because a few times I've not taken them all out and then when we've tried to extract as in a group when we've done security post career and the heist as opposed to just what we're doing today I've been shot in the back of the head so um, the, the way to do this is to float around and just pick everyone off before we go in another thing to think about and be aware of is you'll see me here in a minute I before I cross the pads I go up and that's because gravity kicks in quite high on these pads um, and if you get too close you will just drop and break your legs and then you're, you're incapacitated and then you obviously go into clasher. Now the other thing you saw me do there is I checked through the windows to see whether the NPCs were moving around and whether they were spawning. Sometimes if the server is bugged you will just see nothing through there and there's no point going in you need to server hop. So once you're inside, my particular tactic here is to go in on the bottom floor and to just work my way around the outside as you can see me doing here. What you don't want to do is walk into the middle because you'll get blasted from every angle and there's only one of you. It's not like you're coming in in a team. So just take your time and, and move around until you start to come across the NPCs. Once you come across the NPCs, it's, it's a bit of a hornet's nest. Once you take one out, they'll all start to move towards you, um, and uh, unless you're using a suppressor, which I am here. So um, once the fighting starts, just be prepared. So make sure you've got a pistol as well, uh, because if you run out of ammunition, you're going to want to switch to that quickly. There's lots of loot boxes and stuff around. Don't get uh, cocky and try and take 
the stuff out of them because you've got no one covering your back and you just need one NPC to think it's in SEAL Team 6 and then you, you're suddenly in trouble, all right, and you're in capped and you go into Klesha. So just work your way around. You're looking for a guy that spawns that is in a blue and white Morris of Armor that's in the, um, the, the opening shot of this... Um, this uh, video all right you'll see him pop up in a minute um, in fact that's him there so yeah, I, I actually get shot from behind here which is why you see me move across and not concentrate is because I'm just don't want to get sandwiched between him and someone else but the NPC disappears so um, this guy will take like I've got 18 rounds right now most of those were headshots and it still didn't kill him all right so he absolutely hoovers up firepower so just make sure when you're doing this that you are keeping some distance between you and him making sure other NPCs aren't flanking you and making sure that he can't spend enough time looking at you that he suddenly learns how to shoot um, because at the moment he's not very good at it and but he will catch you off guard occasionally um, I'm not sure why that is and it probably will change but at the moment that's one of the things I'm noticing is that you're pretty not safe but you can you can kind of kite him all right as you see in a second um, because I get caught off guard Yeah, so genuinely thought I was going to eat a major L there. Um, clean up, make sure anyone that's pushing you is uh, dealt with. Um, I didn't spot that NPC there, so you'll see it's tense times in a second. Luckily, I managed to kill him next to the airlock I wanted to extract from anyway. But um, just keep an eye out. Use your corners. Uh, the, the key here is that we're extracting. Um, once you kill this guy, he drops a data pad that allows you to unlock a, an evidence room for the heist. Um, you won't see it here because I'm not going to go through it, but effectively um, the, the NPCs go a little bit mad and start attacking you in, in quite vast numbers at this point. Um, so just extract as fast as you can uh, in a controlled way. Make sure you don't leave yourself open for attack. And that's it. So now you've got yourself this really nice looking armor. Um, it wasn't easy. It's, there's a few bugs there, but hopefully this has helped you get what you're after. This is worth a fair bit on the player market as well. So hopefully that'll make you some money. But if you like this video, please like and share and um, subscribe and hopefully I'll be able to help you again in the future.